All right, let's try uh, try this one one more time. So today I'm going to continue my uh, series on writing and today focus on how I'm able to capture images of things on my screen in my org notes. And so the idea is, you know, I'm writing my notes and uh, maybe I see a figure in a paper or something that I want to capture. And um, I wrote a function called screenshot for that. And I have it um, bound to something convenient like F10. Uh, I don't know why, I just remember it and I don't use F10 for anything else. And so I'll show you what, what this looks like here. I have my cursor here, I just press F10 and that converts my cursor into a little arrow and then I can move over, let's say uh, I want to capture this right here. This is an image and that's uh, strange. Um, it didn't, should have uh, picked up something other than zero there, but it, it was able to capture this, um, this image here. So I'll show you why that zero happened there and, um, and how we could fix it. Now this is okay, but this is just an image. And so if I mouse over it, you can see it's just saved a screenshot in a directory and Emacs is just showing it like it's any other kind of image. But there's text in the image and it might be nice if I could click on the, uh, the URL down here to get to the information. And so there is a program called Tesseract. It's an open source optical character recognition. And all we need is to kind of connect things up so this image gets passed through it. And so let's uh, see what happens when we run Tesseract. So this is also going to give me the screenshot um, crosshairs. And now I'm just going to highlight uh, the URL over here. And this is going to um, take a, a moment and then it inserts the Tesseract open source output and actually gives me the whole registration link, um, including the, the URL here. Now, if you're running this on your own, you won't see this QR code um, that gets automatically generated in a live stream mode that I wrote uh, for this. But now I can, uh, I can see the actual image and check that the URL looks correct. And you could click on this and open up uh, a link directly to it. So I find that um, pretty helpful. Another thing that I have increasingly wanted to be able to do is, is to use my iPad and draw something. So let's say uh, over here, I switch over and I have this, uh, this little sketch that I made. Um, I might want to just highlight it like this and copy it and then go back over to, uh, to Emacs uh, down here and just type PNG paste. And if that works uh, quickly, then we should see the image get put in here in a moment. Sometimes it works faster than, than others. Um, this is a, like a wireless connection between the iPad and the Mac that allows me to copy and paste uh, these images directly from that. Um, and I call that function uh, PNG paste. All right, let's take a quick moment to see how these, uh, how these work because um, at least um, these three are pretty specific to, uh, to a Mac. And I'll show you, I'll show you why. So this is in Cymax Utils. Let's have a look um, at what, what happens. So this takes an optional argument that you can use with Control U. And if you do that, it minimizes Emacs. And if you use two of them, it will let you save the file name instead of generating it. Then uh, down here, we, we just use format time string to generate a, a time stamped image. And uh, here I just run an Apple script that sets a screenshot file path to the name that we made and uh, then runs screen capture and saves the results uh, in, a, in the file name. Uh, finally, this just inserts in here and uh, I guess there's some, maybe a, a bug in the, uh, the way identify worked in that example where it didn't find any, um, any number that was the width and so it used zero normally this should give the number, uh, the width in pixels. So that looks like a little bug for me to track down. And then Tesseract is further down here and it's, uh, it's basically the same idea, but after we make the image uh, screenshot, we have um, a command that just pipes it through Tesseract and extracts the text. 
and then here we uh, insert uh, the the command that is up here that runs Tesseract and then insert the, the image link so we get them both together. And then finally, uh, PNG paste uh, may not be dependent on a Mac, but the PNG paste uh, repo here, uh, you would have to get this command line tool um, installed. And then if you have an image on your clipboard, uh, this will allow you to insert uh, that image uh, by saving it to a file name and then uh, inserting the, the link to it. So those are those, uh, those three functions uh, there. And the last thing I want to talk about is uh, OxClip. So OxClip is a library, it's on Melpa, that lets you do some things where you can copy um, things in org mode. Let's say I select this, uh, let's take this image maybe. This one is selected. So we can say OxClip image to clipboard. And now in theory, I should be able to paste that over here in um, a Google Doc. Or if I'm at, um, at here and let's say I want to highlight this, then we have, uh, I use hyper K for the oxclip region command. And now we should be able to paste formatted text uh, in here that, um, here it's got a blue background because of the way it was highlighted and the way the copy works. Uh, but you have otherwise the, the formatted text that you can uh, use over here. And one, maybe one last uh, kind of thing where I use this, have used this before is if you have a, a LaTeX fragment and you want to copy the equation into another place, let's say it looks like this, we can make the fragment and now we can run the uh, copy image to clipboard and over here be able to paste that image uh, right into uh, a Google Doc. This also works in other places, I think. Uh, let's see if it works in PowerPoint. Maybe I have to copy, oh, nope, there it is. Um, so it works in PowerPoint. Um, you can copy and paste all kinds of things um, in here. It doesn't work in everything. So in, on the Mac anyway, I think it works by either putting a rich text format or HTML onto the uh, appropriate clipboard. And then the application has to support pasting from that clipboard. Um, and not all of them do. So like I, I'm not able to paste into a Jamboard, for example, and it's kind of hit or miss in Slack. But let's look at, um, let's find the library OxClip and just walk through what, what more or less happens in it. So we have OxClip formatted copy is what I have bound to um, HyperK and a note here that images and equations don't copy real well. So we have a separate image to clipboard. Uh, command for that. There are three different commands used for Windows, Mac, and Linux in here, and um, I only use this one on the Mac, so um, it's the one I know uh, the best. And there are multiple options. Um, this hex dump version here is another um, version that works better in Chrome and Slack than using TextUtil and pbcopy. Um, the Python script for Windows is embedded in here, and it's this gets run. It's going to scroll through it. The basic idea is it generates and puts HTML on a clipboard that you can then copy off. All right, and then otherwise, the basic idea is if you highlight a region, then um, all it does is uh, copies the region and then exports the region as HTML and then puts the HTML on the clipboard using the platform specific commands for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, and then that way you can later um, copy it. And if you're not in org mode, then it uses HTMLIs. And what HTMLIs does is it looks at all the faces, the coloring, the syntax highlighting, and it copies that um, using the, the faces that are there. And so again, this is using um, getting the HTML from the HTMLIs region command, and then putting it on the clipboard using the system specific methods. Um, and then again, the images don't copy super well. Um, I haven't really invested time in figuring out if that's possible. So we just have a separate command for uh, images to the clipboard. And this is mostly used on equations or other, uh, other images 
And again, once we have that image file, then we just use the system specific uh, tools for copying to the image uh, clipboard. All right, so that's it. Those are uh, three or four different ways that we can get um, text in and out of Emacs in nicely formatted ways. And I use the screenshot and uh, Tesseract, um, especially these days with Zoom meetings all day long. Uh, it's really helpful to you know capture images of slides or capture things, uh, figures in, in articles, etc., that are really helpful. All right, hopefully this one um, worked out smoothly and uh, you'll see what all of these things are. You can find all of these inside, uh, all these functions in Cymax and uh, hopefully they are some inspiration for how you might get this kind of thing to work for yourself. All right, thanks for coming and